number five. I'm Pastor Charles Jenkins, leader of the pastoral leadership team, senior pastor of Fellowship, and I want to welcome you to Fellowship South. Hi, I'm Christopher J. Harris, director of church operations and chief of staff, part of the pastoral leadership team. Welcome to Fellowship South. Hello, my name is Jonathan Wilkins. I'm the Director of Business Operations and a member of the Pastoral Leadership Team. Welcome to Fellowship South. Maybe you're used to coming here for the movies. No more business as usual. The place where we have generally been accustomed to coming for the movies, now we're coming for ministry. As Fellowship South is on a journey higher, a journey forward, a journey to impact the South suburbs. We dock and take over the theaters at 167 off of the expressway. And so, welcome to our brand new location. You gotta share the word. You gotta spread it. Spread it. Spread it. Welcome to our new home. My fourth time at Fellowship South, and this is a great location. Um, it's like 10 minutes away from home, and I love Pastor Jenkins. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to y'all. In that hard? Come on, can I talk to some real people? I want you to know that you can dial God directly. And you don't have to go to somebody else to ask them to pray for you. While we should pray for one another, but it should not be a necessity that an operator or another believer goes on your behalf for you to talk to God. This location is absolutely wonderful. I live in Tinley Park and it's less than five minutes away. Um, I brought my entire family here. I brought about 10 of my college friends here. And I'm just blessed to have fellowship so close to home. Number four. Hi, this is Tim Jones, inviting you to our quarterly baptism and baby dedication ceremony. Our next ceremony takes place on Sunday night, September 11th, at our 7 p.m. worship experience. To add your name to that list, call the church office or shoot me an email, tjones at fmbcship.org. See you there. Number three. It's a takeover, Youth Weekend 2011. It's a takeover, September 2nd through 4th. Jumping it off that night, Canton Jones. I'm a count to five, and I'm about to go crazy, oh. I'm a wild out, like a new convert. Screaming like a kid at a head of my kind of concert. Listen up, fellowship. It's a takeover. We're taking over our family, we're taking over our friends, and we're taking over our life for Christ. Parents, it is important that you have your youth here, September 2nd through the 4th. It's a takeover. This conference is absolutely free. You can register for classes online or you can see a youth representative in the lobby. It's a youth takeover, September 2nd through the 4th. Be the... God has blessed us immensely. As I've served here over 10 and a half years, we've grown exponentially. So many amazing things have happened. But as I always share, We've got to know that teamwork makes the dream work. It's not just a statement or a slogan for me, but it is a cultural mindset and mentality that we must all have. As a result, our leadership development team about a year ago gathered together and they spent time studying where we've been, where we are, and where we would go. They interviewed our leaders. They studied our structure. They spoke to our staff members. They looked at roles and responsibilities, and, and they also looked at the present needs of our congregation. As a result, we revisited our structure and made some very needed and necessary changes so we could serve you better and be more efficient and effective. We looked at roles and responsibilities, where we could consolidate, where we could be more prudent and more effective, and at the same time, where we needed to broaden the base. As a result, we added some brand new positions, some brand new roles, day-to-day -day staff roles that I shared with you were available last year. You know, Numbers chapter 18, verses 21 and verse number 26, they both speak to the Bible and they both speak 
to us needing staff to aid us and add value to caring for the temple, serving the people on a consistent basis. Both those passages talk about having paid staff and how we must be committed to making sure we've got people to care for the temple and care for our people on a consistent basis. Well, we have had that commitment to make sure that we've got competent, capable people with character that will enable us to go forward. Across the years, we have had wonderful and phenomenal people, and today it is no less. I'm excited that we fill any number of the roles that I shared were available. Our brand new director of church operations and our new chief of staff, Reverend Christopher J. Harris, is in place. He will oversee all things fellowship. He'll serve as my number two. He is no stranger to pastoral leadership. He also is a trained seminarian and anointed man of God who will help me steer the ship. Also a brand new position we added this summer, Reverend Jonathan Wilkins serves as our brand new director of business operations. It is a position that he'll serve in this summer as he's got profound experience in taking a credit union to another level and overseeing economic development and housing projects as he did at the Allen Cathedral in Jamaica, Queens, New York, mm -hmm. Reverend Dr. Floyd Flake in Jamaica, Queens. Then also we're adding a brand new position, a brand new position, the director of ministry opportunities and assimilation. The honorable legendary Tim Jones will move over from membership into assimilation and ministry opportunities. We added this position because there are so many of you who want to serve God. About two years ago, 800 people signed up to be a part of our servolution to serve across the city. We were not ready, we could not handle it, nor did we have the infrastructure. At the same time, when we look forward to thousands of people signing up, people just like you, we have gotta have a staff person who is focused on that to make sure that everything is decent and in order. And as many of you might wanna serve somewhere for one month, three months, six months, or even a year, we wanna make sure we manage well the serving experience as we look to partner with entities around the city as we serve God and impact this city. Also, as a part of some minor changes, tweaks and transitions to make sure we grow forward and go forward. An amazing woman who served with me, Linda Denard, as my EA executive assistant. She did a fantastic job. Well, she has now moved over to be the executive assistant for Reverend Christopher J. Harris, the director of operations. I think it is amazing. It was a natural progression as she knows our church, knows our membership, knows our ministries and our ministry leaders. And so many of the calls and many of the things that I have taken on a normal basis, he will now take those. It's a natural fit as she will serve with him in making sure we navigate the ship in a phenomenal way. I also have a brand new assistant, Maritess Summerlong, joins our team and serves as my personal executive assistant. She managed four people at the Hotel Sack Chicago, the general manager and three other managers, and did a number of other phenomenal things with that chain. Well, now she joins me and our team. As I hear, I'm like managing 10 people, so I've heard. As we've got a major commitment to order and making sure that we take our service to another level, our service to the Lord and our service to you. And some other vision ideas, as God has blessed us with multiple locations, and we look forward to touching more people as we establish more sites, which means we will need more trained, committed people to the work of Jesus Christ as fellowship does more to and for the glory of God. At the same time, we want to make sure we pay attention to detail. So things like family, we want to make sure we increase our focus on family. In so many of our communities, the family has been desecrated or broken. We as a church want to focus on family at a whole different level, which means we pray and look forward to having a staff member that will focus on family ministry, focus on our marriages and on our parent-children relationships and make sure that we continue to see our families grow stronger in the Lord and in our faith. Also, we look forward to adding a counseling component. Listen, I'm glad to talk to anybody. I'm glad to listen to anybody, but I am not a trained formal counselor, nor is there a member on our staff who is a trained formal counselor. So God has given, given me the vision for us to have 
a counseling component where we can speak to the issues, the needs, the challenges, and even the goals and aims of you. I want to encourage you to be prayerful as we look forward to adding both of those components to our team so that we can make sure we're stronger. The other two other things that I want to mention is we got a commitment to our youth and children. And so fellowship, we want to invest more in our youth and in our children. You know, the difference sometimes between suburban churches and inner city urban churches is the investment in children and youth. Sometimes suburban churches invest more in youth and children. We invest more in adults. Well, family, we've got to put more resources behind our children and our youth. And I want to invite you to be prayerful and commit to getting behind that effort. Last but not least, the Legacy Project. God is in it 150%. It is a vision that has come from God. And we still are committed to creating a complex that Chicago proper has never seen before. Not just the church. There's so many more needs in our community than spiritual. But a place where people can worship, a place where people can work, a place where people can eat, a place where people can be rehabilitated, a place where people can learn, a place where people can rest, a place where people can recreate, a place where people can acquire goods and services. Hey, it takes all of us. As it said, it takes a village. Teamwork makes the dream work. Fellowship, it can all happen if we're working together. We're going higher and I've got a commitment to move in the crowd. Let's go and God's going to get the glory. God bless you.